Binance Crypto Loans affords all Binance users the opportunity to borrow cryptocurrencies for a specific duration of time at a relatively low interest rate. You can borrow several different cryptocurrencies including popular coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB and others as well as stable coins like USDT and BUSD. These borrowed crypto assets can be in your possession for anywhere between 7 days and 180 days and in that time frame, you can trade with the cryptocurrencies on the Binance platform and even withdraw the crypto assets to other platforms or to your bank account if you wish. There are a number of reasons why people use crypto loans. Basically, any situation where you need either crypto or stable coins and you don't want to sell the coins that you are holding will be suitable for you to take a crypto loan. For example, you might be in a situation where you want to make a quick trade of a particular coin. Let's say you want to trade Ethereum, but you don't have the liquid cash in that moment to make your trade. At the same time, you might be holding a different cryptocurrency, for example, you could be holding Dogecoin, but you don't want to sell your Doge yet for whatever reason. In this case, you can use your Doge as collateral to borrow some USDT and use the USDT to trade. When you return the borrowed money, you get your Doge coins back and you also keep the profits that you made from your trade. To take a crypto loan on Binance is very easy. Just log into your Binance account and click on Finance at the top here. Then select Crypto Loans. This will take you to the loans page. At the top of the page here where it says Currently Loanable, you will see the different coins that you can borrow. And if you click on this arrow here, you will see the full list. Just scroll down to explore everything. In the I want to borrow box, select the coin that you want to borrow by clicking this arrow here and either type the name of the coin to see the one that you want or scroll down the list to find the coin yourself. For this video, I'm going to borrow USDT. Once you have selected the coin you want, if you hover your mouse here, you will see the minimum and maximum amount of that coin that you can borrow. For example, in my case, I can borrow a minimum of 100 USDT and a maximum of 10,000 USDT. Click here and enter the amount that you want. Please note that the number you enter here must be within the minimum and maximum range. For example, I can't enter 90 here because it is less than 100. Under collateral amounts, click the arrow here and select the coin you want to use as collateral. It will tell you the amount of the coin that will be needed for the amount that you are borrowing. Please note that this coin has to be in your spot wallet for this to work. Under loan term, select the duration that you want to borrow the coin for. Let's say I want my USDT for 7 days. Over here, you will see the amount of interest that you will be charged for the duration. In my case, I will be charged 0.490056 USDT, meaning that the amount of USDT I'm expected to return at the end of my loan period is 100.490056 USDT. That is what this repayment amount means. The hourly and daily interest rate shows you how much you are being charged as interest per hour and per day. This is one of the things I really like about Binance Crypto Loans. If you return the crypto you borrowed earlier than the agreement date, you will be charged only for the hours or days that you had the crypto with you. In my case, if I don't wait for 7 days, and I return the 100 USDT I borrowed after 2 hours for example, Binance will calculate my interest for only those 2 hours based on this rate and that is what I will pay back. The loan to value ratio here is very important and you need to take note of it whenever you want to borrow. 
loan to value is the value of a loan against the market value of its collateral and binance uses it to evaluate the risk of lending that crypto to you because the value of the crypto you used as collateral goes up and down there is the possibility that during the duration of your loan term the value of your collateral can drop below the value of the loan you have taken and this presents a financial risk for example, let's say I used 692 Dutch coins as collateral to borrow 100 USDT now. And let's assume the current price of Dodge is $0.24 per coin. It means the value of my 692 Dodge coins is about $166, which is fine. But let's assume sometime in the future, while I'm still holding my borrowed USDT, the price of Dodge falls to 0.1. It means that my 692 Dodge coins will be worth about $69 at that point, which is less than the $100 that I borrowed. To prevent a situation like this from happening, when the price of Dodge falls to a certain extent, Binance will notify me with a margin call so that I can add more collateral. If the price falls even more to a liquidation point, then Binance will sell off my collateral to pay back the loan. Generally, the higher the loan to value ratio, the higher the financial risk. Binance uses a formula to calculate this loan to value ratio and they will display three pieces of information here. This is the initial loan to value ratio at the time of lending you the crypto. For me, it is 60%. When the loan to value ratio reaches 75%, meaning the risk of lending me the crypto is now higher, Binance will notify me and it's a good idea to add more collateral to your loan at this point. When the loan to value ratio reaches 83%, Binance will liquidate my loan, meaning they will sell off the Dutch coins I used as collateral to pay back the loan. Binance also displays the price of my collateral coin at which the loan will get liquidated here. This number means that if the price of Dogecoin falls to 0.1746979 to the USDT pair, my loan will be liquidated. If you don't understand anything about loan to value, just remember two things. If you get a margin call, it means that you should add more collateral to what you have so that your loan does not get liquidated. The second thing you need to remember is that if you get liquidated, it means that your crypto collateral has been sold off to pay off your loan. Once you are okay with the details, click on start borrowing now. Review the details of the loan you are about to take. Read through the loan service agreement and tick this box if you agree. Then click on confirm. You will see a notification telling you that the loan was successful. If I go to my spot wallet now, you will see that I have been given 100 USDT and my dodge has been taken. Once your loan is active, you can go back to the loan page and click on all orders to see the details of the loan. If you want to adjust your loan to value ratio, that is you want to add more collateral or you want to remove some collateral, you can do so by clicking adjust LTV here and then you can enter the amount of collateral that you want to add. To repay your loan, just click on repay from the loan orders page and you will see the total amount that you are expected to repay. If you notice here, my interest is less than what was shown to me when I was taking the loan and that is because I didn't keep the loan for the entire 7 days. Binance only charges interest for the hours or days that you keep the loan for. I would just enter the amounts to be repaid here and if I click on confirm repayment, then that amount of USDT will be taken from my spot wallet to repay the loan and my Dodge coins will be returned to my spot wallet instantly. If I go back to the loan orders page, I will see the status of my loan as repaid. You also have the option of repaying your loan with your collateral. If for some reason you don't have the coin you borrowed to pay back, 
you can tick this box here to ask Binance to sell the equivalent of the amount you borrowed from your collateral and use that to repay the loan. If I select this option, the system will show me the price at which it will sell my Dodge coins and the number of coins they will sell. If I'm okay with it, I will click on confirm repayment. The status of the loan will change to repaid and if I go to my spot wallet now, you will notice that some of my Dodge coins have been sold to repay the loan. If for some reason your repayment date is overdue, that is you are unable to pay at the end of the agreement period. For example, in my case, if for some reason I'm unable to pay back this USDT after 7 days, Binance will give an overdue duration of 72 hours for loan terms of 7 and 14 days or 168 hours for loan terms of 30, 90 and 180 days. But during this time, you will be charged three times the hourly interest. If you do not repay after this overdue duration, then your collateral will be liquidated and used to repay your loan. So that is everything you need to know to be able to use Binance Crypto Loans. If you would like to get started, then click the link in the description box below to visit the Binance Crypto Loans page today. If you don't have a Binance account yet, then you can click on my referral link in the description box below to create your account. Using my referral link will give you 10% off your trading fees when you start trading on the platform. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will answer them as best as I can. God bless your hustle.